Hello, welcome to this channel and I am Lau from Department of Psychology, APSM College, Varun. And this class is about canon by theory of emotion. Uh, in previous class, we have discussed about the James Lange theory and we have observed that there were some shortcomings in that theory that failed to uh, explain the functioning of the emotion. And the shortcomings were not addressed by James and Lange and that's why another theory proposed by uh, Cannon and Bard came into existence. This theory, the Cannon Bard theory, came in uh, two th uh, sorry 1920. Okay, so this theory um, states that the emotion, the felt emotion, and bodily reactions uh, are independent of each other. The first thing, the second thing that this theory states is a uh, uh, even though both things are independent of each other, emotion and bodily reactions, but both things is triggered, both things are triggered simultaneously. Okay, both things go on simultaneously as opposed as opposed to the James Lange theory, uh, in which it was uh, proposed that first uh, bodily reactions occurs and then we feel emotion. Okay, so this is a diagno, a diagnosically, a diagnosically opposite to the James Lange theory. Uh, now let's start. How uh, does this uh, emotion work as per this theory? Okay, so uh, basically, uh, Cannon Bar theory also uh, uh, states the the functioning of emotion in three stages, just like James Lange theory. In first stage, we perceive some situation, some environmental situation, some external situation that can produce emotion in ourselves. Okay. First stage, this the second stage starts when hypothalamus is activated. As we see uh, some object, some stimulus in the uh, external world and environment. Uh, it triggers our hypothalamus and triggering of hypothalamus is the second stage after trigger of after triggering of hypothalamus uh, you can say we can say after activation of hypothalamus uh, it sends uh, signals or outputs in two direction okay the first goes to the external body organs and the internal body uh, organs we can say okay and uh, this result into producing bodily expression of emotion that we call bodily reactions okay the second signal goes to the cerebral cortex where the pattern of discharge from the lower brain areas is perceived as the felt emotion let me say it again First, we perceive some object in environment. This is first stage. The second stage starts when hypothalamus is activated by our perception of object. Okay. And when hypothalamus is activated, it sends signals in two direction. First, our uh, first to our external uh, muscles and internal bodily organs. And this produce bodily expression of emotions like uh, changes in breathing pattern uh, our uh, heartbeat changes our perspiration rate changes okay this all thing starts happening and the second uh, signals goes to the cerebral cortex where the pattern of discharge from the lower brain areas is perceived as emotion in simple term we can say when the second uh, when the second uh, signal goes to the cerebral cortex, we perceive emotion. Okay, we come to know that the particular emotion is this. Okay, we are we are facing a fear. We are uh, we are in love. We are in, uh, we are sad. So these are all emotion. But the important thing that Canon Bard has said is these two things happens simultaneously. Two things means bodily reactions 
the starting of bodily reactions and our perception of emotion start uh, happens at the same time okay uh, it is very clear that this theory is in contrast with the James Lanzi theory because this theory holds that bodily reactions and the felt emotions are independent of each other but both happens at once okay together simultaneously it also says that bodily reactions are not the basis of the felt emotion but this was true in the james lange theory in the james lange theory it was proposed that our bodily reactions are the basis of our felt emotion okay so this is all about the canon bar theory of emotion okay and now uh, let me tell you let me give you some example uh, to make it more clear how uh, canon bar theory uh, uh, how emotion works as per the canon bar theory okay so suppose you uh, you perceive uh, you perceive one snack in front of you okay and this is the first stage as per this theory so as you uh, as soon as you uh, perceive the snake your hypothalamus is activated okay and the activation of hypothalamus is the second stage after activation of hypothalamus uh, signal uh, signal goes in two direction first signal goes to your internal uh, bodily organs and external uh, muscles okay to enable you to uh, react bodily okay and this uh, this allow you this this uh, this this uh, first things uh, allow you to make some uh, uh, to get ready for the uh, for the fighting or uh, for the fight or flight from the situation okay and the second signal goes to the cerebral cortex by which you come to know that this is fear okay i am in fear and i have to i have to run away from this situation or i have to uh, beat i have to kill this snake in order to save my life okay so this is the whole whole thing that uh, that uh, go on as per the canon bar theory in emotion okay so i hope you have understood this theory and uh, if you have any doubt then please uh, ask the question in the comment box okay thank you very much and if you like this video this channel then please uh, subscribe the channel by clicking the subscribe button that will uh, th that come just after uh, this and uh, thank you very very much and also share this channel among your friends and relatives okay thank you very much